restaurant had been using a pharmaceutical drug in its dough. That's what 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears uncovered in recent health district records. Well, Dirty Dining was on hiatus over the holidays, but kept working behind the scenes to keep up to date on restaurant inspections. And Darcy Spears discovered the drug dough helped make one restaurant the worst offender of December. Acid reflux medication dumped into raw dough to help it rise. Adding insult to possible injury, the medication had expired in 2015. Perhaps it stands to reason that no one at Delhi Indian Cuisine would talk about that. And we'd like to speak to whoever is in charge right now and make sure we get your side of the story. If they let me know to tell you that yeah, they're not allowed to talk to you. They don't just want to talk. They don't want to talk. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be on whether they talk or not, and it would be great if we could just get a perspective on what went wrong. A whole lot was wrong at the restaurant on Maryland and Flamingo when it was shut down December 12th with 47 demerits. That's when inspectors discovered this product called Eno Fruit Salt. The person in charge told inspectors they add it to dough as a leavening agent, but it's manufactured in India by Southern Drugs and Pharmaceuticals for GlaxoSmithKline. And the label identifies it as a medicine intended only for treatment of acid reflux. The health district quarantined the bottles and the restaurant threw out all dough containing the drug. Speaking of drugs, there was an open box of nicotine supplements stored with containers of food. And if drugs in dough isn't enough, they were also lining dough molds with stained cloth towels that were dirty with old food. The dough roller was filthy, too. And inspectors found a used Band-Aid wrapper inside the dough machine. The used bandage itself had fallen off in the hand sink. I hate to have no comment at all. It just doesn't look very good to the viewers when no one talks. I cannot understand, but they know what to Okay. Other violations at Delhi Indian Cuisine included stained cutting boards, part of a cut onion on a dirty shelf leaning against a screwdriver, and a pan of green bean mixture in the fridge dating back to November 25th. Shelving, doors, handles, covers, and panels were all dirty. And does this look clean to you? How about this or this? They were all in clean storage until inspectors discovered them and wrote up a repeat violation for storing dirty utensils as clean. Other food violations included homemade yogurt and cooked chicken that had to be thrown out due to unsafe temperatures and multiple pans of uncovered food in the fridge subject to potential contamination. An insect zapper was mounted over containers of food and an employee's keys were on the hotline. There were also holes in doors, walls and ceilings providing entry points for pests. Despite all that... Delhi Indian Cuisine was back to a zero demerit A grade the next day, December 13th. Rats, mice, and the droppings they leave behind caused imminent health hazard closures at three restaurants in the Eastern Indoor Swap Meet on Eastern and Owens. On December 20th, inspectors discovered the rodent infestation at Sonia's Mexican and Japanese Cuisine, Una Flor in Michoacan, and Mariscocos Areola. There were rodent droppings on kitchenware and food shelves. At Una Flor, there was a dead rat in a bucket behind the drink cooler. And at Mariscocos Areola, inspectors found a rodent nest in a box with cash register paper rolls. All three eateries have reopened with A grades. Other high demerit restaurants from December included Dirty Fork on Durango, Solo Key in the Fashion Show Mall, and repeat offender Kiara on Jones and Sunset. Other closures included Mr. Soon Tofu in Chinatown and the biggest dirty dining repeat offender of all time, Taqueria El Buen Pastor. You'll find photos and details for all of those, plus some harsh words for the health district from some restaurant owners on our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.